guys welcome back to the channel we are looking at Excella technologies and how it uh, fared last week so yeah for the summary you can see that Excella technologies uh, ended the week higher than it started and Friday was an especially good day for this uh, stock uh, the stock started very high on Friday and slowly declined during the course of the day. Now, uh, people who are who have you know paper hands will likely have sold as they saw the stock declining during the day. But uh, usually, those who hold on for much longer and take all the emotion out of uh, trading stocks tend to be the ones that the market rewards. So you can see that after hours, the stock went up a further 3%. Now I'm not very sure exactly uh, at what percentage rise the stock uh, started the day, but if you look at the previous day and compare it to where the stock started, you would see that the stock finished the previous day at about 41 cents. And then on Friday, early on Friday, it went as high as 46 cents before descending lower to 42 cents after hours the stock went up a little bit more and almost hit 44 cents so all in all i would say it was a very good week for excella um, bear in mind two critical things happened uh, during the week uh, they have the, the the ceo who is transitioning which i believe means he is going on retirement in april and then the second thing is that uh, Excella had a $115 million debt, which it was able to turn that and uh, make it become a revolving credit facility. So those are all wins uh, for the company. Also, I think with uh, those changes happening at the very top of uh, the company and also with uh, the company able to amend its uh, terms of uh, a 115 million dollar debt so that it becomes a revolving credit facility the company has uh, in the at least in the short term the company seems to have a bright future so i would not uh, neglect the cap capacity of Excella technologies rising and gaining quite a bit more uh, valuation uh, also, guys, take a quick look at the volume that exchanged hands. You would see that uh, about 85 million shares exchanged hands compared to an average volume of just 47 million shares. Anyways, that's what I had to share with you guys. Uh, thanks for watching and I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye.